a yes. Yeah. You gonna tell me? No. <laughs> Everything was different about this year's fall showcase and in fact the last fall showcase we did was back in 2019 so it was two years since we had our collective CFA community perform in one uh, fall showcase evening events where it features the visual art gallery and then a performing art showcase. What we showed in our gallery was um, based on an abstract project and so what I did was a part of a heart that was a little bit disformed and like the background had like a checkered uh, pattern. So since we were doing like an abstract project I thought like the heart is quite abstract as well because we can see it as something that's concrete or metaphorical. Like concrete in a way like it's an organ that like gives us life and while if abstract meaning like something that symbolizes love and like passion. So that's what I wanted to incorporate in my art. I painted a portrait, that's like my whole thing. This year I'm painting portraits of uh, mostly my friends. It was pretty fun. Um, well, it was a picture of my um, friend Cameron and I had painted her on a canvas that I then collaged over and I also decorated the frame of it. I just really enjoy painting faces. It's something that I'm just really good at, it, so I, I do it. So even starting with the visual art gallery, we had to have mitigation strategies where we had a sign up genius where folks could sign up for 15 minute slots to see the gallery. We can only let 15 people in at a time. So we kind of worked out a little a flow system of going in through one classroom to visit the gallery, come out another classroom. Usually it's nice seeing everyone in there at once, but being able to be there with like um, just my mom, it was pretty personal, it was fun. It was extremely exciting. I didn't think like we would have a showcase here. So like it, it was like just such an experience, I think. And the fact that we're gonna have more makes it even like more exciting, I think. We started the evening with a visual arts gallery. And then uh, you come over here and you get to watch the performing arts students in what is our 31st season at the Center for the Arts. So we for the Performing Arts Showcase, we actually had to create or add two additional showcases. We usually do a Friday night show and a Saturday night show, but we added a Thursday night show and a Saturday matinee this year. On Thursday and Saturday was the level twos and threes performance, and that was a live performance. And for the level ones and fours, we weren't there, and so they showed basically just a video of the level ones and fours performance, but the twos and threes did it live. And then on Friday and Saturday, it was the opposite. In the level ones and fours, we did our live performance, and then there was a video showing of the twos and threes performances. It was interesting. I just put myself in the mindset of, you know, they're an audience, no matter what, whether it's, um, whether, it's whether it's digitized or not, it's still an audience. So our piece was called uh, Invocations and Instructions to the Audience, Putting It Together. It's by uh, Stephen Sondheim. It's from his musical uh, Sunday in a Park with George. It's just kind of like how we put our art together and some like general like guidelines and rules to follow. It's more of like a comedic piece, I guess. I was a monk in the beginning. It's this kind of churchly invocation, this comedic instructions. Um, so I was the instructions part. Yes, but first, some do's and don'ts. Mostly don'ts. Well, Sondheim is my favorite composer ever, so I was very excited when we decided to do these two pieces. So the music is incredibly difficult, which I'm sure the band loved. <laughs> um, but yes, super fun piece to sing, super fun piece to perform. Piece by piece,
And it's just got, you know, your typical Broadway singing. It's got dancing. It's got, you know, like good character acting for each person. It's got just a little bit of everything. We opened it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was nice We as like senior to be able to kind of set the tone of the, of the feel of the show, I feel like, especially for all the lower levels who haven't done a showcase ever before. And so I feel like we really were able to you know, bring it on nicely for them. It's the state of the Dear Duncan, it's your most noble friend, Royal Green. Hello, Duncan. It's me, Artist B. It's Kai King. Sorry, I had a lot of Kai King. It's your wintery friend, Winter is it? Piece I was involved in, I was a crown. Dear Duncan, why? Why don't you use my haze? Why do you insist on using these colors that blaze? My crown specifically was wisteria, purple crown, very poetic, very, you know, moody. Why do you use that purple hue? Is it because she's darker for the picture you drew? We selected the crowns ourselves and we tried to find unique names. And so wisteria stood out to me and it seemed very poetic. Then we wrote our own pieces. Mine came out a poem, and so Mr. Rose was like, oh, I think you should make it a slam poetry thing. I was like, okay, I can do that, I got you. White! <laughs> Tell white and red chill, especially if they're not the ones paying the bills. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> the very fun ones was probably um, Banana Mania. <laughs> And grandma's perfume. And I know you want to keep me forever. But it's time for me to go to the crown and retire at home, baby. Our piece was a social distancing piece. It was um, basically all of us just know social, socially around. It kind of connects to all the other pieces with like COVID and everything. So ours was, uh, ours was like, you know, moving around with each other, socializing, smiling, you know, moving around, having fun. And we all had our different individual pieces. I had a duo with um, a friend named Ella and I actually liked our duo because, you know, I love jumps and dance. So it was great. Honestly, I enjoyed the whole pro process. It was very new because I haven't performed in a while. So coming, preparing, coming on stage and performing it and going through the um, obstacles, it was great. It was amazing. performed Play from Finding Neverland. It's a very energetic piece, so you always have to give 100% every time. Very energetic. It was really exciting, you know, for my very first showcase, I was really nervous, but always being on stage puts me at ease. Lots of tricks and flips and um, running around and singing. Very, very childlike. We had a great call. All the kids first is all the kids men. Then put them together. One, two, one, one, two, three, four, shut the door. It was a little daunting, the fact that we were doing such a big piece as a level one, but we were ready to take on the challenge and we rehearsed really hard. Definitely many hard times, you know, trying to get the boxes to work and making sure people were safe, doing all their tricks, but it really did come together.
there a challenge to overcome? Um, I was in Musical Theater Level 2's piece, Will You Be There by Michael Jackson, and the Michael Jackson musical that is coming out next year. Only like the river Jordan, and I will then say to thee, you are my friend. It was kind of difficult at first. Doing choreography is not my biggest strong suit. It was kind of, it was kind of difficult at first, but over time, it's like you get really used to it. It's almost like second nature. Um, we had a modern piece. It was about. Post-pandemic, our feelings about that, um, it was pretty abstract, so you really wouldn't have been able to tell just looking at it. It went really good. Um, my friend had a solo that went, that was like the highlight of the piece, it was very nice. She was playing an angry character. She was basically mad about um, everything we had to deal with being shut down, you know, the whole pandemic situation. So that really came across on stage. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling on Maxis, relaxing on cool, and now I shoot some b-ball outside of the school. Hey, man. Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I am for real. I never meant to make your daughter cry, and I apologize a trillion times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. We did song logs, so basically, that's what we call it. I don't know if that's the official name on the thing, but we called it song logs in class. We just took popular songs and did dramatic readings of them. I never meant to make your daughter cry, and I apologize a trillion times. I chose Miss Jackson. I was, I was thinking, who? Hmm, what could be something really funny? that everyone knows. Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I am for real. My piece was My Way by Frank Sinatra. And now, the end is near. And so I face that final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case of which I am certain. I have lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway and more. The way I see this is, this is a man who is he's a very old man on the brink of death, right? He's on his deathbed, and what I'm doing is I'm him, I'm a younger version of himself in his own mind, delivering this speech to his compatriots, you know, his friends, his family. Spit it out. I faced it all, and I stood tall and did it my way. Somebody did Wanna Be by the Spice Girls. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Somebody did March of the Black Parade, I believe it is, by My Chemical Romance, I think. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? Hotline Bling by Drake. Just call me on my cell phone. Late night, when you need my love. Things the Monster Mash was one of them. That was a real fun one. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. I've missed this feeling so long. The record shows I took the blows and did it my way. You know, you prepare for a month and a half and you get to actually show people what you've been working so hard on. So that's really nice. hardly put it into words how much of a difference it is than to be behind a screen for an entire year and then finally be able to perform to actual live people so it was pretty amazing no need to leave in haste the teachers have a reputation based on taste it was a challenging and very ambitious project but i don't think the students or the teachers would have had it any other way um, we we made it through the virtual year but everyone was 100% on board with performing live and putting in the extra hours and the time because it's so worth it to be back on stage, to be back in front of audiences.